this is the In The Cove podcast. Welcome to the In The Cove podcast. My name's Rob Caldor. And I'm Jackie Barker, founder of In The Cove. Jackie, it's that time of the year. I can hear bells, I can hear sleighs, I can hear ho-ho-hoing going on. You can indeed. It is Christmas in the Cove, Rob. Tis the season to shop local. fa la 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 What do you mean by shop local, Jackie? Well, I'm glad you enjoyed my singing because I have to say that Mr. ITC and Miss ITC banned me from singing at the Christmas by <laughs> Christmas carols in the uh, plaza people don't sit near me. But anyway, what it is, is this year we need your help. We've all done it hard this year. 2020 has been a year like no other, don't you think, Rob? I can't remember another year with a pandemic and Council Olympics, that's for sure. And during this year, we've all suffered, but our local businesses have also suffered. And interestingly with Lane Cove is that many of our local businesses are actually owned by mum and dads and they live in Lane Cove. They also employ locals. And so what we'd like you to do is to shop local this year and to take the pledge like In The Cove has. I'm not going anywhere near a big shopping mall. I'm doing it all locally. We've just released our Christmas gift guides, all with local ideas and also some local online shops. So it's a great way of sharing the joy locally in, in, in The Cove. Keep things in The Cove. Correct. Now, Rob, you may not know about this, but... Uh, Uh, Maybe a year and a half ago, the Lane Cove gift card was launched. Okay, the Lane Cove gift card is geofenced, which means that you can only use it in Lane Cove. So if you're looking for a gift which supports local businesses and uh, is a gift for someone who you think might enjoy going out to dinner or a cafe in Lane Cove or having a massage in Lane Cove, haircut, beautician, they can use the Lane Cove gift card. So it's the gift that hashtag keeps on giving. Absolutely, and it's great. I I like the idea of going out to dinner and using the gift card as long as well as I think Gladys is giving us a little restaurant gift as part of Service New South Wales. I think all adults get $25 that they can use in restaurants. They can, yeah, but that unfortunately doesn't start till the new year. So the way I see it is use the gift card now, try out your favourite restaurant, you like it so much in the cove, then guess what? Use Gladys. Gladys will shout you next year's mail. Wow, Rob, always thinking. I like it. So, where do you find the Lane Cove gift card, I hear you say? Um, So, how you find it is that there are about four or five uh, places where you can buy the card and you can put any value on it. It starts at $30 and they upload it for you. So, you can go to Iris and Lynn, which is relocated to uh, from Longerville Road to the Burns Bay Plaza between Four Fish and Two Brothers which is actually funny because someone said they should now be called three Iris and Lynn because there's two brothers, Iris and Lynn, and four fish. You can also get it from Celebrations, you can get it from Porters and Northwood, and you can also get it from Found Gift and Homewares, which is located in the plaza where Four Frogs is. Now, there are several other places that you can get it, but you can use it, Rob, at 75 different places within Lane Cove, and not just the plaza, Lane Cove uh, West businesses, Northwood, you name it, it can be used in Lane Cove. It can't be used outside of Lane Cove, but it can be used everywhere in Lane Cove. So we'll have all the details on the links, but please think about the Lane Cove gift card, but also too, think about shopping local. In the Cove Hot Topics. So Jackie, what's going on in the Cove this Christmas? Well, Rob, again, it is a bit unusual and we're not going to have one of the highlights of the year, which is the lighting of the Lane Cove Christmas tree. However, the Lane Cove Christmas tree is lit up and it looks very good. Also, um, there are no Christmas carols and uh, basically any event that you would normally go to is is on off this year, which is a shame. However, we do have a easing of restrictions, which means that you can go out to your local pub, you can go to the local RSL, you can go to the local restaurant and you can have parties with your friends, all socially distancing, of course. And I think you can dance as well. Well, if you've seen the way I dance, you probably wouldn't say that. But I think you can have up to 50 people on the dance floor, but don't quote me on that. We won't quote you. But I did notice something in the canopy, which I thought was quite interesting. In the canopy is a is a beautiful um, big cage like structure that sounds this doesn't sound great, but in fact it looks like a big present and it's lit up at night. People have been posing in it um, and it looks great. We've had young couples, older couples, babies, dogs, all posing, and really it shows that love is in the air. 
Well, I mean, Jackie, it's a great, it's a great song, and hopefully people are enjoying it and hashtagging and Instagramming their photos because you know, then at the end of the day, it's time to celebrate. Let's use social media for good and not evil. So I'm, I think I may take my little seventeen-year-old hound there. Well, I think you should, and in fact. I'm going to upsell someone here, but we've got um, someone in the cove called Furry Munchkin Pet Photography, and I reckon you should get him to um, take a picture of you and your dog in the Lane Cove present in the canopy. Guess what else you can do in in Lane Cove that's a bit of fun, Rob? Please tell me, Jack, what's fun? Okay. So in the um, Lane Cove Market Square, there is a really lovely Christmas tree. It's a real Christmas tree, and it's in this big barrel that lights up. And previously, and I hate to say this, but previously the decorations in Lane Cove Market Square, let's just say, eh, haven't been that impressive. But this year they've come out with all guns blazing and they have a real Christmas tree, which is going to keep on coming back every year until it's too big and then it's going to be planted somewhere in Lane Cove. But there's an interact- interactive, um, how do you say AI? or Artificial intelligence. And so what you do is you scan in um, uh, the, the QR code and then an app down, you know, download an app and then you point to the Christmas tree and all these cute little figures come out like um, little penguins in a car and they run around and it's you think that, that all of – and Santa comes out. So it's virtual reality in the Lane Cove Market Square's shopping centre. So the kids will love it when they finish school. So check that one out. It sounds very exciting. Hey, Jackie, I just realised – you went and spoke to a few people, didn't you? I did. About, I mean, this shop coming, bring it back to shopping local. You spoke to a whole lot of local people. I did, Rob. And guess what? They told me what the hot things are for Christmas this year. Well, let's listen. Hello, this is Karen from the Burns Bay Bookery. Jackie asked me to tell you the biggest seller. I can't do that because the bookery sells so much beautiful stuff. I can't pick one thing out. You'll have to come and have a look. Hey there, this is Iris and Lynn, and just want to let you know our hottest selling item at the moment are our printed dresses. People are buying them for Christmas Day, and they're priced anywhere from $109 to around $149. Come in and grab one now. Hi, this is Brad from... Go Vital Lane Cove. What's hot this year for Christmas? We have bamboo socks, and so comfy, uh, the Mugu skin care and sunscreens, and the um, advent calendars with dairy free chocolate. Hi, this is Beck from Beck and Bell, and this year for Christmas, why don't you get a voucher from us? Uh, it's all about sustainable fashion, circular fashion, and it's about giving love to some items that already, you know, are fantastic and can be worn. We have shoes, handbags, accessories, sunglasses, and beautiful clothing too. Hi, it's Carla from Found Gifts in Lane Cove. Um, some of our hot uh, items for Christmas this year are our colourful men's Munro undies. We also have some Italian panettone that are beer, wine and limoncello flavoured. And we have a great selection of hampers and um, end of year teacher gifts. It's Nicola here from Be You Natural. Uh, we have the Bopo Women's Self Love Set which contains the beautiful Aphrodite perfume roller. It is absolutely stunning, beautifully packaged. Another hot item, great gift, is the stainless steel double insulated tumblers for coffee, tea, wine. Uh, and also we've got really beautiful koala Christmas decorations from Nepal. They're in felt and they look amazing on the tree. What happens in the cove stays in the cove. Jackie, you know, one of the things I really enjoy each Christmas is looking at the houses that are decorated with lights and Santas and all sorts of new sort of features to look at and entertain me. Uh, I love Christmas lights and, in fact, every year we have the Lane Cove, Light Up Lane Cove or the Lane Cove Christmas Lights Comps competition. So this year... Cancel, Jack, I know, I know. COVID's won. It has. So what we're going to do is we're still going to be tracking where they are and we'll let you know. And here are some ideas that if you are looking for Christmas lights, where you have to go. Now, Sutherland Street is the the street where all the Clark Riswells come out and they compete every year. And, in fact, at one stage, if you had a look at their street sign, it said Street Lights Winner 93, 94, 95. And the street sign was getting so heavy with signs that they actually had to take them down and then just put Christmas Lights Winners 91 to 2000 or something. It was hilarious. But, anyway, Sutherland Street, 
Lang Cove is always great. Now, the other place that you need to look at is 53 Garling Street. They were the winners of the uh, Light Up Lang Cove competition, People's Choice, last year. And also you have to look at 58 Fox Street because, wow, there's a giant snowflake there. But don't worry if you haven't got all of those details down because we will have a list on in the cove as much as we can. But what I think people should email us if they if they see something they think, wow, this is this is really good. Yeah, look, as you know, one address info at in the cove.com.au. Tell us great send a photo. Let us know which houses you think are rocking. And sure, look, it's it's not necessarily a competitive sport, but we like beautiful things and we like bright lights. So send it to us and we'll let people know about it. Can I tell you one of my favourites, Rob? Someone in, in um, Austin Street, and I don't know the actual number, but it's closer towards the Lane Cove School, they have um, put on a plinth a Santa on top of a shark and it's one of those blow-up ones and it looks like he's surfing out on the top of the hedge. It's great. And then they've also got these big balls Oh, yes, you heard me, big balls, big Christmas baubles. <laughs> and I just walked past and looked at them and said, my gosh, they've got big balls. Uh, look, Jackie, you've, you, you've shared a lot there. I, didn't, <laughs> I, I personally don't even know what a plinth is. You don't know what a plinth is? I'm, I'm not even going to try and spell it. Gosh, I hope I've used the right term. I better look that up. But anyway. In the Cove events. What is actually open this Christmas day? Well, Rob... I know that there are a lot of people in Lane Cove who like their coffee. I personally have a PhD in coffee drinking. And um, so I always look for a place that sells coffee on Christmas Day. I know, first world problems. Now, In the Cove every year puts out one an article which is very widely read called Christmas Trading Hours Over the Christmas Period and Boxing Day and New Year's. And we will be doing that again. But here are some hints for you. Jack and Co in Northwood are always open on Christmas Day. And let's face it, you've got to go there for ice. So also get your coffee and also use the Hey You app to order it. And you just walk in, get your coffee and your ice. That's very exciting. I've booked in my coffee now. And the other thing is, and this is big news, Normally, there are no restaurants open in Lang Cove on Christmas Day. The Old Cot tried it one year and it really didn't work. However, one of the new restaurants in the canopy called Masala Kitchen, which is Indian and modern Indian and very good, they told me, Lucky the manager, Lucky by name, Lucky by nature, he told me that it's open on Christmas Day. Now, I immediately looked at Mr. ITC and said, butter chicken for Christmas, but you know what, he's a ham man and we've ordered a ham from a local caterer and uh, we'll enjoy that. But uh, anyway, I thought that was fabulous. Wouldn't you have butter chicken for Christmas? You know, Jack, what I have for Christmas is always very mysterious. I spent a Christmas in New York where it's all about getting Chinese. I'm interested in getting a bit of uh, Indian for my Christmas dinner. Maybe it helps sort of soak up a few of those, uh, you know, over exuberance from the lunch. Uh, now, if there's anything you need to know about Christmas, here's another thing for you, Rob. On In the Cove, we've got a Christmas special dedicated Christmas section. And all you need to do is go to our homepage and you'll scroll down and you'll see Lang Cove Christmas. And in that section, it has um, all our Christmas gift guides. It has um, details about where to buy fresh Christmas trees, how to dispose of your fresh Christmas tree, and also recipes where you can buy all the ingredients in Lang Cove, including the In the Cove famous Christmas fruit wreath, and then um, also some Christmas cake recipes. So there's no excuse for not enjoying Christmas this year. I know a lot of people doing staycations and day trips and things like that. So if you dare leave the uh, the geo fence of Lang Cove, Sydney's got a lot on offer. So it's, yes. a, it's, 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 a, it's a great way to spend summer. And, you know, there's less tourists here, so maybe it's not going to be as busy as we all think it may be. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're listening to In the Cove, the podcast. Are you excited about 2021? You know what, Jackie? Uh, after, after this year, excitement is not the word, but I think we're all happy to sort of cross that 2020 out and change it to 2021. I think it's been a, you know an understatement to say it's been a challenging year, but I do like New Year. I do like you know to celebrate the transition of time. Well, that's interesting, and Lang Cove does like to celebrate New Year's Eve, and 
We are very lucky and blessed to be so close to the harbour and there are several areas in Lane Cove where you can watch fireworks. Now, there is the 12 o'clock fireworks, but the 9.30pm fireworks will not be happening this year, but the 12 o'clock ones will be. And we always get inundated with requests on In the Cove, where is the best place in Lane Cove to watch the fireworks? So... I'm going to give you a few hints. The first one is that um, a lot of people go to the Longerville Sporting Club, a.k.a. The Diddy, um, and what they do is they have uh, drinks there and then they walk down to some of the cross streets in Longerville off Kenneth Street and they can see the Harbour Bridge and it's a brilliant place to watch it. The only problem with going in long- to Longerville is there's only one way in and one way out and if you drive, you're stuck there for an hour afterwards. So my hint is... Do not drive, have dinner at one of the fabulous restaurants in Lane Cove and then walk up, it's a flat walk, up to Longerville and uh, leave your car in Lane Cove. The other thing is that St Michael's Church, that it's sort of raised and, and a lot of people watch it from there. There will be no big viewing parties like there usually is at St Aidan's Longerville because, again, of COVID, it was too hard to organise. But um, that's a place to, to view it. Now, the other place that people flock to is Man's Point in Greenwich. And again... That there's only one way in and one way out. And usually the police close the roads about 5pm. This year they'll be closing them a little bit later because, of course, there's not the 9pm. But they're just some of the places in Lane Cove that you can watch the fireworks and it's a nice way to, to have an easy New Year's Eve. So, Jackie, we've spoken about 2021. What is happening in the Cove in 2021? 2021 would be a good year to do something creative or artistic. Now, I know a lot of people got into sourdough baking with COVID and also a bit of art, but that was all done via YouTube. And it'd be nice to be in a class where you actually see other people and you enjoy being creative with them. And I've got some ideas. Yeah, tell me. Okay, so as you know, because we spoke last month with um, Paul Bennett about his um, installation in um, that's on in December and January called Cloud Zone, why don't you go and have a look at it? We have an art gallery in Lane Cove. It's called Gallery Lane Cove and Creative Space, and they have numerous art classes for both children and adults. And I've always imagined myself in the scene from Ghost where I'm sitting there with the pottery wheel and Mr. I two sees behind me. And I'm going to try it this year. So I'm getting into pottery. I'm going to do I did do live sketching um with them one year and realised that I'm not it's not for me live sketching because I have no artistic talents. But hey, I'm still going to try the the pottery. But there is so many things you can do. Pottery, screen printing, photography, and that's at Gallery Lane Cove. So just Google Gallery Lane Cove and look for adult classes and also that there's heaps for the for kids as well including lots of school holiday activities but book now cuz they book out and again our school holiday program is on um in the cove Jackie you know I've always like I like art and I'm you know I'm not particularly talented at it but you know what I've always wanted to do is learn an instrument I can play a bit of guitar and piano but I wanted to play the trumpet Ah well I've got something for you The Lane Cove Concert Band is going to start a new program this year and they are going to help adults to learn music and then become part of um, a small beginner band. And we will have more information on this in the new year. In fact, we're going to even speak to the people behind it because it's such a great idea. But basically, you can have no musical background, no musical skills, and they're going to do adult beginner classes and then and then help you be in an environment where you can use those skills and I think that's terrific. Look I think we all want to be part of a band I think the growth of sort of those uh, the people's choirs and those pub choirs and things like that why not let's let, let, let let's get the band back together let's form a band. And when you talk about choirs we also have numerous in Lane Cove and we'll have details of that as well so I think 2021 might be the time to get a bit of culture with a capital K. But we've spoken about our mind and our creativity. I've got a funny feeling I may slightly overindulge this Christmas and New Year. It's, uh, you know, every every year I say, no, no, just take it easy. And then every year I go a little bit too hard. We are blessed in Lane Cove to have so many fitness centres and all of them offer something unique. And Fit Lane Cove, which is a major sponsor in the Cove and have in fact been one for ages and we couldn't do without our major sponsors, They've actually got five different studios. And so when you join the gym, there's five different studios and there's a, a running studio, there's a, 
um, spin studio, there's the, the floor which has all the machines, there's the exhale studio which does yoga and Pilates and then there's the reformer studio. And they have a free pass for summer um, that you can have a look at on their website. Uh, there's conditions obviously but it's something that you can have a look at. Plus there's all of the other boutique studios that we have in Lane Cove. So if, that, if, a, if a gym's not for you, although it's got different aspects, then there are so many different places where there's boutique um, studios, boutique yoga. We're blessed. And again, we've got that on the website um, to have a look at. I think 2020 has definitely been a year like no other where we're focused on our health and wellness because of what's been going on. Let's bring that into 2021. Let's bring you know both mental health and that's helped by physical health. Um, it's helped by doing creative things. So there's so much to do. And I think you know, part of this podcast is about letting people know about it. That's right. And the other thing too is that even if you you, you don't want to do any formal um, exercise, you can always do the bush track walking in Lang Cove. There's a, a publication on the Lang Cove website called Bush Tracks or Bush Walking in Lang Cove. Plus also we have all of our dog parks that you can take the dog to. And I know you like the dog park at Blackman Park and I know that you like going to Puppy Tails Cafe and your dog having, what was it, a woofle? A woofle. Um, so we have lots of those but we also have some beautiful um, places to picnic in Lane Cove and again we've got that details on, on the website about picnicking in Lane Cove. So there's all sorts of places to go out. In the Cove podcast available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. So, as you know, the podcast comes out every uh, Wednesday of the month, the third Wednesday of the month, is that right? A bit different this month, but who knows, who cares? It's that time of year. But next year, we also want to interview people. We want to do what we're calling In the Cove in depth. That's right, Rob, and we did one this year and, and it went really well and we'd like to do it more. So, again, if you know someone who we should really get in touch with an interview, please let us know at info at inthecove.com.au. Absolutely. So anyway, that's that's it from us. Looking forward to next year. Everyone, please celebrate with vigour and with safety and Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and we look forward to 2021. Drive safely, everybody, and remember, double demerit points do apply, and we want to see you in the cove next year. Goodbye. This podcast has been produced by localpodcast.com.au. If your organisation needs a podcast, contact Rob 0404 289 956.